Hey guys, welcome to the second video in this series of me starting my vending machine project. First off, I'd like to apologize for this video not coming out sooner, but I got a little sick over Christmas and also I was like kind of wrapped up in the holidays and getting ready and everything. So listen, now that Hamilton is in a lockdown, I will hopefully have more time to make some more videos for you guys. Now you guys might be wondering like why the title of this is like Mighty Machines or something along that line and it's cause in the last video I ended it by teasing you guys by showing you the vending machine that I bought so I thought in this video it would only be fair if I went into a little bit more depth about where I got the vending machine, what it does, how it works, and stuff like that. So if you're interested in getting into this machine, keep watching. Shout out to all my Canadian kids born in the late 90s, that one was for you. So what I want to talk about right now is something that I was gonna bring up in the first video, but it would have taken way too long, so I'm gonna bring it up in this one, and that's what kind of vending machine I wanted to buy. First things first, I crossed off full-size snack and drink vending machine. They're just enormous expensive and they weren't serving the purpose that I needed like at all. Next was the capsule vending machines. You know the ones where you'd get like a little sticky hand or a little mighty bean or something. Um, and I thought those were my best bet because the button would fit really well in the capsule and they actually really weren't that hard to find online or used in my area but I kept getting hung up on the whole like disposable capsule thing that people just throw away after you know it wasn't very cost effective or eco-friendly which I would prefer to be but then I found an ad for the gum vending machine and I thought how easy would it be to put a button in a package the size of a pack of gum the machine is compact the packaging is made out of paper so it can just be recycled after and so I replied to the ad and pick this baby up off of, you guessed it, the Facebook Marketplace. And listen, if you've been sleeping on the Facebook Marketplace, you need to wake up, love. This video is not even sponsored by Facebook, but I genuinely use the shit out of the Facebook Marketplace, okay? It's like Kijiji, but there's a profile that I can check to make sure you're not a murderer or a kidnapper when we meet up in person. Trust me, Try it, you'll be addicted to checking it. Back to the video. Yeah, it's okay. It's probably in my top seven, eight favorite songs about reverse engineering. This is the part of the video that I'm both very excited and a little bit nervous for. All of the videos that I've seen by creators with vending machines recommend that you understand the machine inside and out. So what we're gonna be doing is fully taking this apart as much as I can and hopefully not messing it up. Just so you know, I'm very ready. I got a lot of tools, but the first tool we're gonna need to get into this thing is the key. So it unlocks like that and the entire front piece comes off. So inside of the machine, there's almost nothing. There's this little slanted piece of metal here. There's a bucket that's currently full of um, nuts and bolts, but this is actually where uh, all the money collects. So there's not much to deassemble in terms of here, because there's nothing going on. The part of the machine I actually really have to like focus on taking apart is this front piece here. As you can see, there's the twisting mechanism and this is where all of what would be the gum would go. This little arm mechanism that goes back and pushes the gum out. Why don't I just show you? Now something I meant to mention about the machine earlier, but I'm going to now because it's convenient. This thing only takes tunies. Put your toonie in your little slot down here. Wow, 
What a great demonstration. All right, I switched up the angle, so hopefully you can see this a little better. I don't know, but point being, we're gonna start by getting these guys off. Whew, those guys are really hard to get off, but still attached. Still attached to this arm. Gotta get this guy off. All right, now that we have that off, what we can do is undo this panel in the front that has the XL logo. So uh, we no longer have to be a gum vending machine. There she is. Time to get rid of her. Now, as much as I'd love to get into the coin device here, I actually have very little faith that I'll be able to put that back together, but what I'm going to point out to you is that it comes off completely as a whole from the machine with these um, particular uh, screws. So I think if that ever breaks, I'll actually just bring that to a professional. I don't think I'm fixing that. So what I'm going to do is see if I can reattach this um, arm and holder. And, um, and it actually wasn't that complicated. There wasn't that much going on in here. I kind of thought there was more. Just to make sure this thing actually still works when I put it back together, I'm gonna put a toonie in it again. Flip the pack of gum. In here, to the bottom. Moment of truth. Well, it still works. So I'm pretty happy about that. And now, no more XL logos. But now that we got rid of those ones, let's get rid of these ones. You can't win some days, you know? I think this needs the good hot water in a rag trick. Hold on. One eternity later. <sighs> Took a slight detour here. Tried rubbing off the side stickers with um, just hot water. That wasn't cutting it. I think I was scrubbing the side of it for maybe an hour, maybe what felt like two and I was only able to get one side completely clean. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe, like the video. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time.